<laughs> you look lovely, mommy. Yeah. yeah. Very small. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer did not pick up on the loveliness. Look at her trousers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mascara everywhere. <laughs> here today in this beautiful setting to celebrate the gift of love that Lex and Blaney have found in one another. And today you, as their special guests from all parts of the world, America, Australia, including the Llamas who have travelled from all over the world, will be a part of the magic of this occasion as they take a new step forward into life. Everybody grab a shot. A little bit of strange, thank you everybody for turning up. First time we talked to the first time we met, and I bit your bum in a London Sainsbury's, and you laughed, and I knew you were the girl for me. Lex, meeting you changed my life in every way possible. You are my biggest support, and I am your biggest fan. You make me the best version of myself. Every day you make me smile, and every day I love you more. I wish you every happiness and prosperity, and I'm happy to pronounce you man and wife. Yay. You may kiss the bride. I was proud, grown white and free. All I wanted you to be my sweet honey bee. In the fire was a tree, grown tall and green. All I wanted you to shape and be my love. All I want is you. shown together, we're always better than when we're apart. You don't think that you're a risk taker, but you showed me just how willing you were to dedicate to us by leaving everything that you knew behind to take a chance building a new life with me. Ladies and gentlemen, please can I introduce the new Mr and Mrs Griffin. In a nutshell, you're his inspiration. You're the reason he's got to be the best he can be. Well, it wasn't the extra trip to Las Vegas that I really wanted, and I've been married for 10 years, so, <laughs> you know, three kids. Um, but it was so much fun. I mean, I broke my back. <laughs> my best friend videoed the phone. <laughs> so everybody knew. You See, we've had an intimate wedding and every single person that's in the seat means something to us. We want to share that only with people who bring kind of positivity and happiness to our lives. So thank you all very much for being here. You were the wood, I'd be the fire. If you were the love, I'd be the desire. If you were a castle, I'd be your moat. And if you were an ocean, I'd learn to float. There is nobody else that could take your place. Uh, I didn't believe in soulmates or really even think about wanting or needing to be married to fulfill my life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Who knew they would all um, <laughs> okay. Who knew that all it would take would be for some weird little guy to steal my photos, <laughs> upload them to the internet, and stalk you to help us find each other. <laughs> If I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents. Ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now. If I only had a hundred fans, life's too short to be an asshole.